I am here with Joel Campbell. The, the, you know, this is hooky, obviously. Uh, what, uh, what, do you think it's hooky? No, maybe. Hi, I'm Anton. Socially awkward, and uh, my campaign slogan is dope. That shut up, shut up, shut up, eh? shut up. My name's Jenna Lahane, and my slogan is lose your star fucking minds. Because before I was at her PM, Chappelle called me went overseas, she took my bodyboard with her, and I want it back, eh? To be honest. I'm here every weekend, sweating like a pedophile at a Wickles concert, grinning like a schoolgirl in a porno film. I'm all about having fun. I don't like stress, but I just like having fun, good time. What, what would you bring to Starfuckers as the new SFPM? What happened? I brought Starfuckers. Good answer. If I were to put on my own Starfuckers theme party, it'd be birthday suits. I mean, what's going on here? What are you doing? I don't know, it's got a big fucking light in my face. It's like, do I say something? No, I don't feel the biggest competition is probably Joel Campbell. You don't, you're not cut out for TV. You're not cut out for TV. That's the problem. We're just all here to party and that's it. That's all you need. I think my biggest competition is Anton or Michaela. There will be nobody else on that stage dancing harder than I am. Anton and I have never slept together, although he is on my people to do list before I die. Man, I'm so nervous. I've never been more nervous than when my mum demonstrated the birds and the bees using a Snickers bar and a Krispy Kreme donut. My name is William Bradshaw, um, aka O oh Boy. Okay. It just came to our attention that something happened to the campaign posters. Yeah. Um, well, I personally, I think that there is a vindictive candidate in our midst. And I don't know if they want to stoop so low as to sabotage other people to try and make their campaign better. Like, good for you, but I'm sorry, it really doesn't. Antoine's just trying to sabotage all of us already. I know it happened, yes. How do you know it happened? Oh, I tried to stop him writing on my poster. Um, well, I would just like to say as a candidate of Starfuckers that writing or sabotaging on anyone's um, propaganda for winning the campaign is kind of sad and really reflects on you, not us, because it's... it's 77, like you come here to be comfortable, we're all a family. No one comes here without, by the way, J-Ro's gay if you didn't know that. Oh, look. A lot of alcohol. Hey, are you trying to flirt with me? A little, a little bit. Yeah. That's okay. Do we have any names? I think his name is like Anton or Schmanton or something. Not really sure, don't really care. Don't know him, don't want to. Drama is unfolding, people. How do you feel about the upcoming SFPM election? I'm voting Abbott. I think the person putting in the most effort is definitely Cameron. Um, he made a video, he has t-shirts. Um, he's voting Abbott. Is he even in the running? I, I thought he was. I don't, think that's, I don't think that's happening. I don't think that's a thing. I'd like to welcome to the stage Mr. Fraser Fraser, aka Lady K, aka Fraser Steele. Now, uh, what I want to know from you right now is, has anybody already got your vote? I'm going with Joel. Is Joel still on the ballot? Yeah. Perfect. Joel's my boy, so I'm always down for him. Is there anything that you have against Matty Horney that you want to bring up right now? <laughs> of course. Is not. there anything you want to talk no, about? No. I'm not from Vietnam. There is no problem with Matty Horner. But no problem. You I didn't come here from Africa. Well, he is the original party rocker. As, I, as I've heard. I'm also not from Cambodia. If you could choose somebody that you absolutely do not want to win, who would it be? Hmm. Well, there is Beck Rostran, but... Um, also not from China. I'm not sure what nationality you think I am or what Thomas told you. The Matty Horner is definitely out in the eyes of Aiden, isn't that right? Uh, yeah, why not? Thank you, oh, Fraser. Like Neymar. Neymar's a good bloke. Neymar's a good bloke? Yeah, I do like Neymar. You think he'd be a good SFPM? He would. Also, Cameron Adda, because he's a good oh, looking bloke. He's yeah, a very good looking yeah, yeah, yeah. bloke, so looks go a long way. Yes, of course. Okay. Thank you, Fraser. No worries. Stay tuned. Perfect. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Christopher. How are you? Very well. There's one question on everyone's lips. Who's got your vote? Uh -huh. Hands down, 100%. Vote for the man himself who lives, breathes and pumps SF, Cameron Thomas. 
You do realize that you can retain your anonymity with voting. I mean, nobody knows who you I vote for. So, yeah, I hope so, because I think fine. I'll need that. You will. Um, that's just strictly for Nima, because if I don't vote for him, I think I'm going to lose lose a few balls or something like that. Testicles. I think so, yeah. I think yes. I'm going to lose them. On trial. And I'm, I'm a bit scared of those. Fair enough. You're, you're scared of your testicles? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Now, word has it that you're his campaign manager, is that correct? I am his campaign manager. I may I say so myself. Um, I think the campaign is actually coming along tremendously. Maybe have an oh boy theme when everyone could dress up as me. If you follow Cameron around with a camera, and- um, You're bound to have fun. You're, yeah, you're bound to ca capture something awesome, and that's why he should be the next SFPM. Because he's amazing. Hi, this is Hooky again, and this is SFPM. And I'm here with BTA, the fucking institution of Starfuckers. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Fantastic. We've just been provided with a bigger one. Now, this is Rebecca, everybody. You have met her last week. Back yourself before you wreck yourself. Who's got your vote? Um, I'd have to say Nima, um, just because I value my life, but also because he's, you know, he's, he's been here since forever and he brought me here and by default I've brought so many people here and he's so dedicated. That Anton, is it Anton? Yeah. I don't like him. Like, okay, like alright. I mean, Maddie Warner's already won, so... It's time to pass on the crown, I think, and I don't know, I think I have a soft spot for Cameron. Um, oh, that's a Cameron voter. Yeah. And we're talking about a DJ Booth swing voter here for BTA. See, I've noticed a common theme when people mention Nima's name. They say, because usually he's standing right behind the camera, just off camera, doing, doing the eyes, you know? Yeah. Tech can obviously influence a lot of votes. Depending on which way he sways, a lot of the club can sway that way. You know what I mean? I don't think I'm even voting. He doesn't think he's voting. No. He's told me, he's uh, threatened me with, you know, he says he'll enforce a burqa on me. He is the only... Just you, I believe. Me. Just, just me. Look, I love Beck. And, you know, I love Cameron as well. And, I don't know, Cameron just dances beautifully and he exemplifies what Starbucks is all about, I think. So, that's where my vote's going. Already as it is, Nima and Cameron are going to put itching powder in each other's tuxedos. There's going to be an assassination. There's, I mean, it's getting pretty heavy already. It will. So. I don't know, maybe, no, because... People already party pretty hard, like most of the candidates do, party hard. I don't know, that's such a tough question, Tom. Indecisive, but not apathetic completely, right? Yeah. Absolutely. That's it. It's just such a broad question, like, what could, I don't know. That's enough, j -Ron. Okay. Okay, that's enough. DJ j -Ron. What's up? Good evening. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, you realise that you can only vote once, don't you? No. Did I say that?